What's going on everybody? I'm Dotterfest Luigi and today we are doing part one of a six part series all about Railcraft. Now at the end of this we're going to have a complete Railcraft tutorial and this is of Railcraft version 9.12.2.0. Now really it's only the 9.12 you have to worry about. And part one is materials and blocks. So what, if, what does Railcraft include as far as materials and blocks? Well it's this and it might not seem very extensive it seems pretty moderate but this is just the base materials and stuff this doesn't include uh, parts or anything like that and it, but it does include all that so we're, well, let's just go ahead and start at square one so as far as world generation uh, railcraft doesn't add too much it adds uh, this isn't this belongs down there it adds abyssal stone which is just it spawns in spheres just like regular stone, it's just a darker color. So let's go ahead and take a nice little look at that. It's just a darker version of stone. And so it might, if you're in a cave of just this stuff, it might seem a little darker because it's really just a darker version of stone. Uh, quarried stone is really the same story, and just spawns somewhat randomly. And it's a lighter version of stone. So these are some aesthetic things that Railcraft just spawns in the world. This is sulfur ore. And of course, when you mine that, you get sulfur dust. Saltpeter ore, which will give you a saltpeter dust, dark diamond ore, dark emerald ore, and dark lapis lazuli ore. Those are just basically exactly the same as the regular ore, but they spawn next to this abyssal stone. And so if you take a look at this, it's basically the exact same texture as diamond, just with a darker outline. So pretty neat. It just it doesn't give you any more stuff when you mine it. Same with the emerald and the lapis. Firestone ore, this stuff spawns in the nether, and when you mine it, you get raw firestone. And then, you have to take this stuff, and with five diamond pickaxes, use it to get a cut firestone. And that seems insane, which it kind of is. And if you use that, you can combine that with four lava and four redstone blocks and it can be colored it just uses the ore but just regular redstone blocks you don't have other mods installed and you get a refined firestone and then you can charge this I don't really know how you charge it and you can use it like coal in the fact that it'll power fireboxes furnaces and that kind of thing then once it runs out it'll turn into a cracked firestone which you can then craft with lava and a raw firestone and some redstone blocks to get a refined firestone once again so that's really a neat thing. Uh, if you hold it though, uh, if you hold like a cut firestone, raw firestone, firestone ore, that kind of thing, it'll set nearby things on fire. So let's just sort of put all that in our inventory. And you'll notice that around us some stuff will start catching on fire. So yeah, pretty hot. And it'll actually take out the durability on this every time it does that. So you have to be careful. Uh, it's not such a problem where I'm at currently because this is protected with world guard so it won't the fire won't spread but uh, that could be deadly if you live in a if you live in say a wooden house or something so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that fire yeah and did quite a bit of fire from that fire stone and uh, there might be some up here okay sometimes uh, it will spawn up here so just gotta be careful so yeah, that's a that's a firestone, and that, that's actually really neat. We do have to be careful with it. It also has a few materials: coal, coke, which we'll talk about in the next episode about machines; steel, which we'll also talk about how you get it; copper, which what do you need but more copper? Uh, it seems like every mod adds copper, tin, and lead. Now you'll notice that it does. None of these have ores, and these two don't have ores because you don't mine them. But there's, Railcraft doesn't include copper ore, tin ore, or lead ore, which is nice because there are like seven types of copper in this mod pack. So how do you get this then? Well, Railcraft adds these poor ores and adds five. It adds poor copper, poor tin, poor lead, poor iron, and poor gold. And then it also adds an iron nugget. So when you mine these ores, you get a nugget instead. And so if you want to get a lead ingot, a tin ingot or a copper ingot, you have to mine nine of these ores. Now, the, the veins that these ores spawn in are pretty large, so it kind of cancels itself out, but it's still kind of a bummer. 
uh, next is are these cool posts that it adds and uh, actually steel it, it, there's uh, steel swords and tools and armor and all that including steel shears and that's really just the exact same crafting recipes as everything it just uses steel and of course it will use the or dictionary definition of steel and then there's also a steel anvil and a reinforced crowbar down here I have my handy dandy crowbar because we are always going to need a crowbar with railcraft and you can craft that with iron ingots and rose red dye and of course the reinforced crowbar is the exact same thing with steel so let's just go ahead and go down to these there's a wooden there's posts and platforms both uh, in both wood stone and metal varieties so you sort of craft that like so and uh, we'll talk about creosote when we get to the cold coke in the next episode and then there's stone post and we'll talk about rebar when we get to the rolling machine and any color stone which is pretty neat and then metal posts which uh, you need the, well, the recipes included in the rolling machine and then these platforms which we're gonna get to but this metal post is pretty neat because it comes in 16 color variants of course for the 16 dyes and so this is what a platform looks like so here we get the uh, stone stuff as well and so this is what the platform looks like. So here's some metal posts, and of course this is in all those colors. This is just kind of a rusty default color. And then we have a wooden post, which has a slight wood texture. It's a little, a little dark. So yeah, it just has a dark wood texture, which is pretty cool. And stone posts, which are a little thicker, and they don't have these dividers. What is neat is if you were to make, say, a bridge like this, they do cancel out and make a cool sort of rail like that and you can see that that does that over here with the metal post and if there's nothing it looks like that what's neat is if you have a track and you place it on top of any of these it'll actually automatically turn it into a platform and so really the only use that a platform has is if you don't want track on it but you still want a platform and then railcraft also adds glass and these lanterns and so the strength in glass comes in 16 colors and the lanterns come in all sorts of varieties now aside from just those base materials railcraft adds all this so what is all this well this is abyssal so when you mine the abyssal stone you'll get abyssal cobblestone if you mine the quarried stone over there you'll get quarried cobblestone and I honestly I tried figuring out but I can't I don't know how you get bleach bone blood stained frost bound infernal sandy cobblestone so I'm sorry about that uh, this you actually can get via the bricks uh, somehow but yeah these are just this is just so much that I couldn't really figure it out and then you can use each of these to craft all these different variants and so with all those that I just listed there's a brick variant a fitted brick variant so to match the stone brick pattern that you would find at strongholds there's a plain block pattern which kind of matches uh, the curtain modern diorite like a polished diorite there's this ornate stone variant which mimics the stone type that you would see like uh, this the chiseled stone and then there's etched which has a little creeper face on there and then there's brick stairs stone brick pattern stairs plain stairs cobble stairs and then slabs of all those as well and then also there's a lantern and a brick wall variant of all those so that is a lot of all these different types and you see so you can build stone house just about any color you want so that's really cool and of course the nether does not have a brick slab or a sandy brick and this is actually just the regular nether bricks and so those ones aren't included with the mod because they already exist in vanilla but that's not all it also adds steps for snow slab for snow and a snow wall same with ice and then compressed ice it has a step and a slab it adds these uh, steps slabs and stuff for iron gold diamond obsidian has step slab and wall uh, creosote blocks which are just you mix a piece of wood with creosote oil and you get a creosote wood block and so it's just a darker wood block pattern on all sides it's not like a log uh, concrete 
stair, slab, and wall. Steel, stair, slab, and lantern. Lead. That's just so many blocks. That's just a lot of blocks that it adds. And so that's pretty much it. There's one other thing in here, which is the magnifying glass. Now, this is a pretty neat item. Unfortunately, this only works on railcraft blocks, but when you right click something, it'll tell you some information about it. Now, it doesn't work very well on these blocks because it just says it was placed by railcraft, which is a little odd. But if we go over here, and uh, volume warning, the music of this place is pretty loud. Not that loud, but... If we go downstairs, there's a boiler. And we can see that I placed the boiler. And it'll tell you that the structure is valid. So we're going to use this... Hang on. It's a little loud. Yes, sir. All right. So we can, we'll use this one to talk about machines more, because this is actually a very useful item. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this, store this over here. And yeah, those are all the blocks that Railcraft adds. Pretty pretty intense. It's pretty cool, though. Uh, these, the brick, the infernal brick and the sandy brick, those are the same patterns as the blast furnace and coal coke oven. And we'll see more of that in the next episode. So. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, as always, we are on my Minecraft server. There's a link in the description below on how you can download the mod pack and join us. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.